Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here, and uh, if you have a question about life, guidance, wisdom, and everything else, and you wish there was somebody who wasn't your parents, or your guidance counselors, or your teachers, or your boss, or all the other people who lie to you on a daily basis, if there was some asshole out there who would tell you the truth if you just gave him some money, <laughs> the wonders of capitalism, ask and thou shalt receive from the free market. So go to assholeconsulting.com, talk to me, the world's only professional asshole, and I'll give you the swift kick in the ass you need. You're, yes, you will pay me to curse at you. That's exactly how this works. There's not enough ass kicking going on. Just a bunch of ass kicking. You do whatever you want, dear. I don't know anyone who kisses like that. Hey, Captain. I just recently found your YouTube channel about a week ago and subsequently brought, uh, bought your books, Worthless and Curse of the High IQ. You are very smart. Very smart to do that. I'm also waiting on Bachelor Pad Economics in the mail. Great read so far. Thank you for your insight. Formality's over. I need your opinion on my education. I bought the bullshit. I drank the Kool-Aid. I was a high school musician who majored in music. What the fuck, right? I eventually wised up $20,000 and three years later to the fact that a music degree would get me fucking nowhere. I changed to an equally worthless major, Economics. Here's the worst part. I'm 23, 50000 in the hole. You're 23 and you've only been to school for three years? Okay. <laughs> and have a worthless GPA of 2.5. I have an IQ of 130, though. I'm not stu stupid. I was just lied to for 18 years. Yeah, and you were also, like, fucking lazy if you're old, only getting a 2.5 GPA in fucking music. That's like taking a piss standing up. What'd you get your degree in? Taking a piss standing up? What was your GPA? 4.0, 5.0, the scale? No, it was a 1.6. Like, what, did you piss all over the seat? Did you forget to put the, put the seat up? Did you think, like, did you piss on somebody's dog thinking it was a urinal? I mean, that's, that's what a 2.5 GPA with a music degree is. My 2.5 isn't a lack of intelligence. It's a lack of effort in phoning it in for four years. Oh, well, okay, you admit it then. Okay, good. You have intellectual honesty. Do you recommend I make the best of where I am in college, switch to accounting, and try to pull my GPA up as much as possible? and hope for the best, or say fuck it and go to trade school, learn welding, pay off my debts, and start my own thing later? Maybe both. I realize this is a bit long. No, actually, dude, this is not long at all compared to what I, this is not long. So I might have to pay extra. Nope, nope, you, you did good. Okay, and then you also, we had a follow-up email. You're married to a 40-year-old woman who is a piano instructor, or the staff pianist at the local college. Tell me the world of academia. Does anyone work real fucking jobs or produce real fucking shit or is up to assholes like us to do it? You don't work a real job. No, I'm not telling you this, but to all you, shut up. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you gotta get out. You shouldn't waste another fucking second of your life in that school. Yeah, your economics degree is worthless. I know because I have a minor in economics and I wanted to become an economist and it's total bullshit. So don't even waste your time with that. So you are very smart and you're learning early on. Uh, I mean, as uh, you may think you're in a very bad situation, but compare yourself to the 25, 26, 27 year olds who doubled down and got masters or doctorates and have six digits worth of debt um you're 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 not unsalvageable and it's not going to be a life i mean that's life crippling you're over your life is fucking over if you have six figures in debt and you're 27 and a worthless degree on top of it oh you're fucked you're not you caught yourself which is good so there is there is hope so yeah you're gonna have to knock out that debt and you could go into accounting but accounting is it can be self-taught and unless you get a CPA, you're not going to be really making that good of money. So I would say between the two options you gave me, I would definitely go into the trades. I'd go into welding, networking, computer security, whatever kind of interests you. I mean, there's certainly um, uh, things, uh, different options you have in trade school. But what I would do is think about what you'd like um, and then also go online. At any time, a brilliant thing you can do is go to Google or the Bing, type in BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, and then the title of a job that you might be interested in, welder, uh, carpenter, whatever. And then it will one of the first, if not the first hit, will be the Bureau of Labor Statistics 
statistics on that profession or on that job. It'll show you a median salary. It'll give you statistics and, and uh, employment growth uh, for that industry and that job. So you can do a little bit of research there. But you're going to be relatively safe going into the trade. Still, it's worth looking shit up. So the welder would be pretty good um, or something along that lines. Uh, and then accounting, this would be if you more wanted to go the entrepreneurial route or, as many tradesmen are starting to do, if, you know, the trades, it's physical labor and your body doesn't last forever. And so then they inevitably learn a little bit of accounting to maybe go into management or to start their own company, start their own welding. So they hire a bunch of welders and then they're the manager and, and you know, their back went out or whatever, but they know accounting. So accounting is not a bad skill to have, but I would not go to school for it um, if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, because all you have to do is know how to do accounting. You're not applying for jobs as an accountant. You just have to know how to do your books. And truthfully, doing doing your books, doing accounting is very easy, very easily self-taught. I mean, now I majored in finance, so I, I do have a more extensive background. But I never was told how to do my own taxes, and it, it's not that hard to figure out. So, I mean, especially if you get TurboTax or TaxCut or one of the softwares out there. So I would not bother going to school for accounting. I would look at the trades because it's higher paying. You're still young enough, you could join the military. Keep People keep hanging away, why do you keep recommending it? Because the military is like this youth, I mean, everyone wants a solution. It's right fucking there. You just might have to kill some people or get killed yourself. There's no moral problems there. But um, all that aside, statistically speaking, you know, you're not gonna find a better opportunity than that. Um, and then as for your 40 year old uh, girlfriend or wife, um, yeah, that's a whole separate issue because she's got 17 years on you, and uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. That's really interesting. but that you didn't hire me to consult you on that. But yeah, I'd go trades. Um, I would almost find any kind of job if you got a decent car. Do Uber, do something, start knocking down that debt. Um, and yeah, if that 40 year old woman is willing to support you, you're a little bit concerned. Like, yeah, I'm going to be parasiting off of you. Yeah, she's a 40 year old woman. She should know that. Not, not that, you know, she, she should understand you're, you're a college kid, you're trying to make ends meet, you're trying to find your way in the world. So don't, don't have any real guilt about it. Don't be a, a schlep either. You should obviously aim and strive to, you know, become an independent man and, and not live off of her. But yeah, in the meantime, fuck yes, we've been, pull, we've been supporting women for like fucking ever. Where the fucking ones go get shot, going to the coal mines and all that other shit. They, she can support you a little bit. She can... The, 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 the balance of justice will not be totally slanted and, and, and put out of whack if, the, if she buys you some groceries every once in a while. You're, you're, you're okay. So Anyway, but yeah, best of luck. Uh, at least you caught it. This is like catching cancer early while it's still treatable. It hasn't, uh, was it manifested or become malignant or spread to the rest of the lymph nodes like people who have their doctorate in women's studies. So you, you, are, you are salvageable. Your life is saved. That's the good news. It's just going to be a little bit of an uphill battle for the next couple of years. Best of luck. Toodles.